Laser shots are the fastest thing in the universe. Laser weapons can destroy any target in its way, even if that target is a hypersonic missile. This is huge because China is invested heavily in hypersonic missiles and the US is invested heavily in laser weapons. Today, China's hypersonic missiles are the most unstoppable missiles in the world. And America's laser weapons are so unrivaled that they're becoming portable enough to be installed on aircraft carriers and fighter jets. They must be mobile if they would ever be able to effectively counter the constantly growing Chinese hypersonic missile threat. Chinese hypersonic missile threat. Tensions have continued to riddle the relationship between the US and China. For one, because of China's undying wish to absorb Taiwan into its territory, and the US's unrelenting desire to ensure Taiwan remains a free state. US President Joe Biden hasn't held back on that front. On December 2022, he signed a defense spending bill that included up to $10 billion in assistance for Taiwan. The visit of the former House Speaker, Nancy Pelosi, to Taiwan was also considered a statement of Taiwan's sovereignty and was therefore met with Chinese displeasure. During the visit, China fired a DF-17 missile only 75 miles from Taiwan in what was referred to as a test. But outside China's shores, it was considered more of a message and a reminder of what China's military capabilities had grown into. The 36-foot-long, 33,000-pound DF-17 missile which was fired is a mature hypersonic missile that has been tested seven times with 100% success. It has a maximum range of 1,600 miles, a flight ceiling of 197,000 feet, and like every true hypersonic missile, can maneuver throughout flight to evade air defense. China also has the Shinkong-2 Wave Rider hypersonic missile, which boasts a maximum range of 6,200 miles and a flight ceiling of 98,000 feet, in addition to its Mach 6 Plus top speed. These two missiles have put China in the lead globally when it comes to hypersonic missiles, even ahead of the US. However, the US doesn't appear to be prioritizing hypersonic missiles as much as China but rather on laser weapons, which are more invincible, more lethal, and more popular in sci-fi movies. And after being so futuristic for decades that they were out of reach, here's how laser weapons work in reality today. How laser weapons work. Lasers are a form of light energy. The word laser stands for light amplification by simulated emission of radiation. The invisible energy in this emitted radiation, once high enough and focused, can impact a target from miles away and at the speed of light. This means a laser moves at a speed of approximately 186,000 miles per second, the fastest thing known in the universe. As a result, no drone, no mortar, and no fighter can outrun the certain destruction promised by high-energy laser weapons. Lasers are also immune to challenges faced by kinetic weapons, such as wind and gravity. Therefore, the weapon, without the need to expend energy on these external factors, operates efficiently, and infinitely too. A laser weapon can fire constantly for as long as it is connected to a power source. This translates to an infinite magazine, which sounds almost too good to be true. It also means that laser weapons require nothing but energy to operate. The main operational cost of such a revolutionary weapon would therefore only be an electricity bill. This makes laser weapons very affordable to operate, with a cost per kill going for as low as three and a half dollars. All of these and more are why the US Air Force and Navy continue to work on installing these weapons on their fighter jets and aircraft carriers. Laser Weapons on Aircraft Carriers Today, 25% of all aircraft carriers in the world belong to the United States, and the combined total of their deck space is more than double that of all the other nations combined. Their lead ship of the U.S.'s carrier fleet, the USS Gerald Ford, is a $13 billion supercarrier, armed with enough weapons to level a city. 
On the seas, it is protected by an armada of cruisers, destroyers, frigates, and submarines. The supercarrier is considered by many to be the single most decisive military vehicle in the world. But China could, in theory, destroy it in a single strike using its hypersonic missiles. And given the fact that China uses full-scale American carriers for target practice, the USS Ford supercarrier might be in danger. The US Navy cannot afford to lose the USS Gerald Ford. It's like losing a crucial, expensive, power-projecting city. To protect the supercarrier, the Navy has been working tirelessly to arm it with the one weapon that operates faster than hypersonic missiles, laser weapons. One laser weapon that has resulted from those efforts is the high-energy laser with optical dazzler and surveillance, or Helios for short. Helios is a 60 to 120 kilowatt high-energy laser weapon developed by industry leader Lockheed Martin, whose 40-year experience in directed energy hasn't gone unnoticed by the Navy. Helios's development contract, amounting to $150 million, was issued in 2018, and by 2022, the weapon was ready for installation, testing, and trials. Helios was installed on the Burt-class destroyer USS Preble, where it replaces a 20mm Vulcan cannon-armed MK-15 phalanx close-in weapon system on the frontal section of the ship. From its vantage point on the ship, Helios would counter targets from over 5 miles away and scorch them to disable core components and put them out of service. But Helios is more than grilling targets till they crash. The weapon doubles as a dazzler, that obscures adversarial spying and attacks by blinding sensors and confusing missiles. It then triples as a tool to support long-range intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance by having its sensors become part of an integrated weapon system known as Aegis. Aegis is the Navy's most advanced surface combat system. It provides decision makers with sufficient information to make calculated decisions and determine optimal solutions. This improves the overall survivability of ships that wield the Helios, be it the USS Preble, other Burt-class destroyers, big-deck amphibious ships, or aircraft carriers. However, should Helios prove insufficient in effectively taking out hypersonic missiles, the Navy is developing other laser weapons multiple times more powerful than Helios. This includes a 300 kilowatt laser under development in the High Energy Laser Counter ASCM program, and another 1 megawatt laser being developed by Northrop Grumman. Whichever of these weapons prove an optimal counter to hypersonic missiles would likely earn a spot on USS Gerald Ford and other aircraft carriers. This appears to be the Navy's reason and plan to have laser weapons on aircraft carriers. For the same reason, here is the Air Force's plan to have laser weapons on its fighter jets. Laser weapons on fighter jets. Attempts to arm fighter jets have been ongoing for over two decades. Two projects are currently at the forefront of these efforts, both now seeing promising results. The first of these projects is the Tactical Airborne Laser System Project. The second project is the more headline-making Cell Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator Project, or SHIELD for short. SHIELD is being developed by the Air Force Research Lab, AFRL for short. The AFRL contracted defense giants Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin to team up and develop a single laser weapon that can be installed on aircraft. Northrop Grumman would deliver the weapon's beam control system, Boeing would deliver the pod subsystem that holds other components, and Lockheed Martin would deliver LANCE, the actual laser. Lockheed Martin received $26.3 million in funding from the Air Force for LANCE, and delivered the laser in February last year, 2022, five years after the company received the SHIELD contract. By multiple accounts, the Lance laser was worth every waiting year. According to the acting director of AFRL's Directed Energy Directorate, Kent Wood, Lance and its sister subsystems all represent the most compact and capable laser weapon technologies ever delivered to the service. According to Tyler Griffin, a Lockheed executive, 
Lance is the smallest, lightest, high-energy laser of its power class that Lockheed Martin has built to date. Griffin, Mr. Executive, added that Lance builds on the advancements of a previous directed energy weapon that Lockheed Martin produced for the Army. Developed under the Robust Electric Laser Initiative, or RELI for short, this older laser weapon wields a 60-kilowatt class electrically driven solid-state laser with a rugged, efficient, excellent beam quality. Although the exact power specification of Lance is yet to be officially reported, it's expected to be in the same class as Relay. Yet, it is 83% smaller and requires much less power to operate. According to reports, the laser weapon from SHIELD could be wielded by the F-15, F-16, F-35, and the 6th generation fighter under development in the NGAD program. Funded by a combined GDP of $37 trillion, China and the US are in a tug-of-war, the most expensive tug-of-war in history. To come out on top, hypersonic missiles and laser weapons have been summoned in the bout. And the winner would be decided based on which of these weapons is more decisive. To know which weapon actually is, subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.